Lewis get a minus Petritus and Jonathan Sterling are officiating crew and off we go quickly on another Miami Heat NBA adventure. There's Corey Joseph hitting the eye in New York two nights ago but ready to go here in Miami. The officials are Eric Lewis and Aminus Petritus and Jonathan Sterling. Jackson can get hot. He's a three-point shooter. Was questionable with an ankle injury. They're glad he can play tonight. Vincent rescues a turnover and finds Dwayne Dedman underneath for a couple of free throws. That's the way the Pistons have come out and started this game. Now, when I talked to him about, you know, who you're going to play, he said, you know what, it's really not going to matter. We're not going to have forwards and center. That's the way the Pistons have come out and started this game. Now, when I talked to him about, you know, who you're going to play, he said, you know what, it's really not going to matter. We're not going to have forwards and centers and guards. It's just going to be the five best guys that I can find. So in comes KZ Akpala for Miami. First man off the bench out of necessity. And that's a triple for Hamadou Diallo. He's been a guy who's almost averaged a double-double as a starter. Uh, I love the threat that he brings blocking shots and also diving to the basket. He, I mean, right now, uh, it's a lot to ask KZ to come in and do that. Keep your fingers crossed for Big Dwayne. Lowry open through. Ricochets off. Corey Joseph, the 11-year vet out of Texas. That's Diallo. Oh, my. Two threes for Diallo. Wow. Not in rhythm, not off ball movement or paint touches yet. Lowry, deep and off. So one for seven from three to start the game for Mayan. A couple minutes left, opening quarter, the Pistons ahead by five. And Hero gets fouled on the reach by Diallo. And with the Pistons over the limit, Tyler's going back to the staff. Season in the NBA is 181st career game. Spent three years with New Orleans and one year with Phoenix. That's the last time he played the league, the 2019-20 season. They're allowing some of these hardship moves and uh, players to come up. It's, it's actually an amazing opportunity for guys who are in the minor leagues to be able to get a chance uh, to come up and play, uh, you know, in the NBA just due to different guys being out. Two-point lead. And that's Jamarco Pickett missing, and Yurtz have been doing what he does best. Oh, not that. It's the rebound. Here's Sheck Diallo, first score in a couple of seasons in the NBA for Sheck. If not, it's Bam, maybe in the post or out on a pick and roll where he can dive to the rim. So that's where they really struggle if they're not hitting shots is in that half-court set. Seventh key turnover to have. Diallo into the corner, Frank Jackson. So that's where they really struggle if they're not hitting shots is in that half-court set. Seventh key turnover to have. Diallo into the corner, Frank Jackson. Their 10th triple of the first half. The Pistons with a nine-point lead, matching their largest. They've scored seven unanswered points. Hero had it blocked by Trey Lyles. The Pistons just flat out playing Miami in this first half. Can't sugarcoat. Lyles on the turn for two. Boy, he looks good out. Work to do in the rest of this half. We'll get around to rewind. Coming up, Pete Halftap presented by your South Florida Chef Dealers. We'll see you in just about two and a half minutes from now. Back to Eric and John. Need more of that Tyler Hero music as Diallo comes back with a quick switch. He's got three assists uh, and four points, but they need some spark right now. I think Lowry can provide it. But a couple possessions in this last minute. You know, he's president of the Heat's Take Charge Club. It's 19th this season to me. That's my favorite to do with three fouls in the first half. Got to see that confidence. Hamadou Diallo spinning on Struess. No finish. Rebound to Lowry. He, he looks like he belongs. He's playing with great confidence. Uh, he can shoot the ball effectively, but he also can put it down on the deck. Corey Joseph able to splash in threes. That's his fourth of the game. Meanwhile, remember, Lowry, Robinson, and Vincent all playing with three fouls as we open this third quarter. This is Sadiq Ben. Another triple for them. But there's a blanket on him tonight. Uh, he, he's coming off such a good game, too. Had 26 points, tied a season high, went 6 of 10 beyond the arc. He just can't get one to go. They're all right on the rim, but he's had a couple really good looks, really important to get and you have to respect the fact that they they are capable and you've got to close out like they are quality shooters even though they're last in the league his workload has been increasing now it's about to double duncan robinson and a blocking foul on diallo that'll be his with all miami's problems tonight they're only trailing by one diallo get out yurtsevin with a rebound 
The Euros in the game at a 20 point first half. And the shot swatted. I think that was Trey Lyles from the side. Robinson trying to slip to the basket. Missed the shot, tapped it in. There was a collision before that. You know how combustible he can be. Strews with 23 points tonight. He's four of eight from three. And the ball goes over the head. Hamadou Diallo at the free throw line, 4-2. And the Pistons have lost 15 of their last 16 games. You know, their worst season ever. Got to go back to the 79-80 season when they went 16 and 66. Oh, Diallo just missing two free throws. Kyle Lau always feels like he's in control. Nice pass for Udonis. In a crowd, Udonis, you did it! Frank Jackson, that's a shot-making man. 23 years old out of Alpine, Utah. Vincent for three. Quick shot, rebound to Diallo. Rebound to Diallo of Detroit. With the Pistons ahead by two. Under seven minutes left. Diallo missing badly. And Yurtsevin with his 12th rebound tonight. Trey Lyles inside. Diallo short. Udonis Haslam grabs the rebound. Nice cut, Vincent from Lowry. That's a goal tap. Gabe Vincent, you get two more points. He has 13.